The French President Emmanuel Macron is launching the second annual Paris Peace Forum this morning. Mm. Yet, despite 27 heads of state jetting into the French capital for the conference, much of the focus will be on a meeting that's taking place on the sidelines. Emmanuel Macron will meet with North Macedonian President Stevo Penderovsky for the first time since France vetoed the country's EU accession prospect last month. Well, joining me now to take a closer look at this is Alistair Sanford. Uh, as we just said, there's a range of issues going to be on the table, but this meeting on the sidelines is looking likely to dominate and cause a, a bit of a stir. Uh, is it going to dominate, do you think? Yes. Morning, Rosie. Well, it's certainly going to um, catch people's attention. Yes, the uh, North Macedonian president, uh, Stevo Penderovsky, this is a chance for him uh, to argue his case before President Macron uh, for uh, his country to be... Uh, allowed into the formal process for uh, EU accession. Now, last month, of course, France uh, opposed uh, this happening for both Albania and North Macedonia. It was backed up by at least a couple of other countries, the Netherlands and Denmark, over Albania, but very much went out on a limb uh, in opposing um, North, Macedonia's, uh, North Macedonia's candidature, even though um, it had been backed by the European Commission and the European Parliament, saying the country had made good progress. Uh, the German Chancellor, Angela Merkel, also disagreed with Macron over this. I think we can hear what she had to say. She says she was disappointed over that decision uh, and said it's important that the door to both countries uh, remains open. We must continue to work towards opening negotiations with North Macedonia and Albania to join the EU, especially since these countries are NATO member states. And this is where our strategic interest in a transatlantic alliance also lies. Now, there are signs from Skopje that they want this meeting to be uh, conciliatory rather than confrontational. But they do want to press their case as well as listening to what Macron has to say about what the country needs to do uh, to be taken into the European fold. But their president has described the situation as utterly unpleasant. President Macron, of course, says that the enlargement rules need uh, reform, um, but it has left those rules in uh, a state of some confusion.